Alright, so before we begin, I might as well quickly preface what's about to happen. So, over the last few months, I've been recording myself going into like different stores to find Bluey merch. And basically, what I was trying to do is just document the different things they had over the course of the year. And even record my reaction to getting some of this new stuff and as you'll see, I get pretty excited sometimes but not too often so don't get your hopes up but yeah this was gonna be like a series on my channel where i like just checked out different stores over the course of the year but honestly once again as i mentioned there are some exciting moments but overall it was kind of boring as there wasn't really a lot of good stuff that often so i canceled the idea of making this a series but since i have all of these clips recorded already and I did get some interesting stuff, I thought that it would be a good way to end 2021 and start the new year by just showing how I got some of the things in my collection, which I do still plan on making a video of. And yes, I do still plan on making a collection video. I know it's been a while and I haven't done anything with it yet, but I'm just still trying to get it organized and I've been kind of busy lately, but... Yeah, don't worry, it's still coming. So with that said, let's roll the video and here's a little insight into how I find stuff for my collection. So I hope you enjoy. Alright, so here is the bluey section. Yeah, it's not that great. We got a few best mates, a couple of the houses. We have a display for the Bluey Friends plushies, but there's nothing in there. So yeah, looks like this one didn't get anything in yet that's new. Okay, well, to be honest, this one is so bad, I couldn't even see the Bluey section at first because there barely is one. Looks like this one was almost broken into. We finally got something new! Muffin's Cat Squad bike? I haven't seen this one before, but I've seen it online, so that's actually a little nice find. Huh, I didn't even know this existed. I've never heard of this version before. It's a bit damaged, but I might get it. So yeah, this is another new one that I was looking forward to getting. Some of the boxes are a little bit messed up, but I'll try and figure out which one I'll get. So yeah, I, this one's actually pretty good. Things seem to be getting better. So they really think that they could just slap new faces on these same toys and people are just gonna buy it. Well, they're right because I did. <laughs> they got this giant Louis Deluxe Park playset. It's actually got quite a few figurines. It's got Bluey, Bingo, Rusty, Indy, and that thing from the Creek episode. I don't know why they put it on the seesaw, but that's pretty cool. I'm definitely getting this. 10 out of 10 Photoshop, great job. <sighs> How much money are we gonna spend today? Who wants to take a guess? All right, so it's been a couple days since the last video, and today I'm gonna hit even more stores, mostly Targets and Walmarts like last time. So yeah, let's get started. Also got a ton of bluey plushies, both police faces, but a lot of the normal ones, which for me are a little bit harder to come by. In fact, it's actually quite a few of the normal ones. Like there's a whole display of just normal ones and a couple of please faces. I wonder if they're making more, or if they just got a whole ton here. They got a lot of the best made blueies, which are pretty common. But they do have a best made bingo, which admittedly, I don't see very often. In fact, out of all the stores I've been to in the past few months, I've only seen one that's actually carried these. This one's a bit ripped, but that's very interesting to see because a lot of stores do not get that one in. Alrighty, finally. So I was at this Target and there was just a lady who restocked some of the toys and they finally Got the new two packs I was looking for. So far they have this one with based off the work episode. And behind the photo fun, which I assume is a carryover from the last case, they have the Queen's one. So yeah, 
pretty good find and it looks like I basically just scored a fresh case of them too. Alright, so it looks like my luck is finally starting to change. And they always have a lot of these pull ones for some reason. I'm not sure if they just got a lot of extras or people just don't want those. Of course, they got the best mates. Those are pretty common, but it does say that they're supposed to carry the best mate bingos, but honestly, I've never seen a target with best mate bingos, so I'm not sure if that's a mistake or just, they just have trouble getting them in because they have a lot of things listed that they just don't have. I swear, whenever they have a bluey plushy display at Walmart, they always put another dog related thing in it that's not bluey, but yeah, this one obviously doesn't have any bluey plushies. You know what though, speaking of these new 8 packs, I was looking down here at the price and it says they're only $9.98 compared to being $24.84. Once again, Cracker Barrel is just loaded with these 4 packs. Well, from down here it doesn't look too bad. They got a couple play sets even though there are some gaps. But up here is where things start to uh fall apart a little bit they do have a few ponies here and then they just have a ton up there i have no clue why they ordered so much but it is kind of funny oh my god <laughs> there it is they actually have it and as you can see it is huge yeah i'm just gonna get this one and look like a complete weirdo trying to get this thing out of here but yeah to my surprise they actually have this big thing and it's actually quite heavy i can't believe i did this but here it is just have to try and get it to the car all right she's all buckled up we can go home now i guess once again they do have a bunch of those older bluey friends four packs and they got some of those newer 8-packs. actually got a Muffin and a Koi one, which aren't the easiest to find. I'm pretty sure they just re-released the Muffin one because I know for the longest time she was almost impossible to find and people were paying like 50 bucks to get her. But yeah, it's a good thing they re-released that since there's a big demand for it. Oh my god. So, okay, I'm just going out to the beach and I thought I'd stop at a couple targets. Since the bluey section hasn't gotten a lot of new stuff, I wasn't planning on making a video today. But um, I was just checking because I was here looking for Hot Wheels. And they actually have one of the Talking Bluey plushies, which I didn't even know they were going to get these in America because I've seen tons of eBay listings from Australia. But yeah, they don't have bluey, I don't think. I don't see her anywhere. Of course, they have that Peppa. But yeah, they actually have the talking bingo one. Darn, no bluey. They just have all bingos for some reason, but oh well. Wow, it sure looks like people really love this Ford Transit Connect. It's probably why they left so many. But in all seriousness, how did one store even get in this many in the first place? And how long is it going to take them to get rid of all of these? I mean, it's all the exact same car up here. I've been hunting for Hot Wheels for like half a decade now. And I've never seen something like that in my life. That is just insane. Okay, so looking at the bluey section, apparently repetition is a ongoing theme here because we have four luckies. The whole bottom is just Princess Blueys here and the whole top is just bingos. Just bluey friends over there, not much else. And we have some of the new talking ones, but once again, it's just bingo. At this point, I'm pretty sure the store has just gotten bingo for some reason, but hopefully they'll get bluey in soon. They actually have the Deluxe Park place, which I only see once in a while. And just like the other ones, they got a new set of talking bingos, but once again, no blueies, so I guess we'll keep moving on. So you can see, same old stuff. They do have a lot of figurines, because 
I guess right now all of them are just getting in a ton. So if you need more four packs, I guess Target's the place to hit up. And they even got the normal one. They got the new variant. But I already have those, of course. And also, if you look over here, they got some Hot Wheels stuff. But Hot Wheels isn't doing too well here. They don't have much. Over here, they got some stuff as well. But it's just the same stuff. So I guess we'll just have to wait another day, I guess. Okay, I lied. We actually went to one more Target, but even though this not anything that new, I just wanted to point out how cool this end cap is. This is the second one I've seen with the end cap. And as you can see, they got a quite a few different things. They even got a Mackenzie plush over there. And they have a nice big bluey sign up there, which is really cool. So the bluey section is definitely expanding, which is pretty nice to see. All right, so I'm back home now. And as you can see, there is my little Bluey collection I got going on. If you look closely, you can see that some of the new stuff I got in the video are already on the shelf. But as you can see, it is quite full and I have a bunch of stuff I wanna display that's not on there. So I got this little shelf right here from Ikea. Well, it's actually quite large, so I probably shouldn't say it's little, but we're going to build it, and we'll cut to that. Alrighty, so after building the shelf, I got a bunch of bluey stuff, and I just put it up. As you can see, most of the first shelf is relatively the same. Of course, I moved a few things around. Most of the second shelf is just plushies and stuff, while the first shelf is going to be about the figurines and some of the other bluey memorabilia. And up here I also added some stuff I got from the show bag. And as you can see, I got some board games, more figurines. I got some Australian stamps over there and a bunch of other cool stuff, but I'll make another video about that in the future. But uh, yeah, that's basically my entire bluey collection for now. So I got to get the camera to move because this box is kind of big and I just just going to knock these figurines out of the way, sorry. But um, I'm not exactly sure how you would get this open, I think. Let's see, what's the right opening for this? All right, well, got to get this tape out of the way. Let's snip that. Oh, and I think it just opens like this. Oh, <laughs> here it is. There's the gigantic bluey case and to be honest i actually think it looks better than the promo picture because the promo picture was actually kind of weird but this one actually looks relatively nice i was expecting it to look really creepy but overall i just got them because they're actually relatively nice plates you got this really nice crisp shot of the healer family with some scenery in the background oh, here it is oh this isn't the poster, but it's the activity book. I honestly completely forgot I even ordered this, so that's a surprise, I guess. This plush right here is good. This figurine is great. And this talking plushie is awesome. But what the heck is this thing? Ooh, this one might be interesting. Whoa, all right. So this is actually one of the Bluey magazines they have. And it's fitted as an introduction to the Bluey magazine, or at least the series in general. And I just realized that it's actually the first issue in the entire series because I know they have a few, but honestly, I just picked a random one. I wasn't expecting it to be the original or the first one, but if I were to have just one for my collection, I would pick the first one, so I got lucky with that, I guess. <laughs> oh, uh, well, I wasn't expecting them to have these already, but there's a whole section dedicated to Halloween costumes, and I didn't even see these at first. I don't think I'll get these. I'll probably wait until they have the bandit one, but uh, yeah, they already have bluey costumes here, and they're Walmart exclusive, so... That's interesting, I guess. Oh my god. 
Okay, so I'm at Walmart right now, which, as I mentioned before, doesn't get in as much Bluey merch as Target. But they actually have the Talking Bluey plush. That is actually a really exciting find. I'm so excited. And I didn't even know Walmart got in the Talking plushies, but yeah, I'm definitely getting this one. Alright, so I'm at 5 Below right now, and mysteriously, they only have a couple of these figurines. They have a ton of the Peppa ones, of course, but they only have three of these bluey ones, and the only the Magic Xylophone ones. I have no clue where the other ones went, or if like someone just took them or a scalper bought them all, but these things, once again, are just going up for crazy prices on eBay, and I don't see why someone would pay $20 for just one of those. Oh, and well, here they are. We got this puzzle thing. I don't even know what is this. They look like cups, but it's supposed to be a puzzle. Never seen this before, and I've actually never heard of this or even seen it online. But yeah, it's some kind of tube. Very nice vector of bandit. We got to appreciate that. And they also got these puzzles down here, which are actually some kind of four pack. So it's like a little bundle of puzzles. But uh, yeah, very interesting. I'm definitely gonna get these and see what they're about. Okay, so I'm at another five below now. And once again, they only have the magic xylophone figurine, which is weird because that was just like the other one, but this one doesn't have any other figurines. And I'm not sure if someone is actually buying all of them just to resell them and basically being a scalper. But if that's the case, which I think is somewhat likely, that really concerns me because I cannot believe that Bluey scalpers are a thing now. Like, it's Bluey, come on, but I guess it's going to turn into Hot Wheels with the amount of demand these toys got. Where would this even go? There's no space for it here. Um, I guess you could just hang out with Blippi up there. I'm sure he'll be happy to see you. Why am I even buying this? Like, what am I gonna do with a freaking bluey scooter? I already it's have a scooter. <laughs> oh, well, it's for the collection. Yes, wait. Eh, basically the usual. It doesn't look like they're getting in too much new stuff for the holidays. Although they might be getting in some stuff later. They still have some of the older two packs from the summer. And they got a little bit of the somewhat newer stuff, but nothing new new. And of course, they have a couple of lucky plushies because honestly, he's not really that popular of a character as he really doesn't do anything in the show, but oh well. And it looks like someone tried to get into that. Looks like they tried to eat the house, but weren't very successful. Oh no, no freaking way. In the blippy display, they got a freaking socks plush. I can't believe they have the new bluey plushies. Look at these are all like the older ones. Um, I don't think they have the other ones. They just have a bunch of blippies back there, but I can't believe they have the socks plush. I'm so excited. I know it sounds like I'm going crazy, but frankly I am. I can't believe they have this. I don't know where Honey and the other ones went though, but I'm sure we'll find those later. Definitely hard to find too, cause I know there's scalpers out there, but hey, at least I got mine. And oh, oh shoot, Honey's right here. How did she get over here? Oh, wow, we're getting really lucky today. Shoot, I'm going to take both of them. Ah, uh, geez, so I got a little bit excited for that one. But anyways, that's basically all of the footage I recorded, or at least the most interesting stuff, because I did record a bunch of other stuff, but it was kind of boring. So yeah, overall, this isn't my like, type of usual content, which is why I'm not posting it on the main channel. But I just thought it would be a little interesting insight or even behind the scenes to my collection. And hopefully in the next few days or couple weeks, I'll post that collection video because I know some of you are interested in seeing that. And overall, yeah, that's basically all I have. So look out for the collection video. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to BNB Studios because I'll be posting more smaller content like this once in a while. But with that said, that's basically all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. But until next time, BNB Studios will be signing out. Have a great day everyone 
and I'll see you real soon. Bye, everyone.